Welcome to Cox OC Connection. I'm Lacey Kelly and I'm your host for Cox Civic Connection, a segment where we interview your civic leaders. Today we have with us Dwayne Cave, who is the External Relations Manager for the San Diego Gas and Electric Company. Welcome, Dwayne. Thank you, Lacey. It's good to be here. Glad to have you. So, my first question is, we all know uh, who provides us power, but give us a general idea of SDG&E's service area in this region. Well, San Diego Gas Electric serves the south portion of Orange County. We serve all or part of eight cities in South Orange County, including all of San Clemente, Dana Point, San Juan Capistrano, and the southern portions of Aliso Viejo, Laguna Beach, Laguna Hills, Laguna Niguel, and Mission Viejo. We also serve the unincorporated areas of Cota de Casa, Las Flores, Ladera Ranch, and the new Rancho Mission Viejo. Okay, great, and I have a question about that for you in just a minute, but one of my first questions is, you know, we don't think of uh, energy really like water where you can deliver it and store it and it's, we know where it comes from. Tell us, where do we get our energy from and how is it delivered to us? Well, you're right, we don't have batteries. And so with that, we need to make sure we have generation. And unfortunately for Orange County, we have no generation within the service territory of San Diego Gas and Electric. And as you know, a few months ago, a couple years ago now, San Onofre uh, Songs has shut down. And since it shut down, they provided 16% of the energy that we used. So now what we depend on is the Encina plant in, uh, in Carlsbad and also the Palomar energy plant in Escondido to serve most of our energy needs. Now to get it to Orange County, it's transmission lines. So we depend on transmission lines to deliver it to our Telega substation down in San Clemente. Okay, got it. So, uh, no local generation in South Orange County. What uh, is SDG&E doing here to help um, keep the lights on for our residents? Well, you know, reliability is the key thing for our customers for San Diego Gas and Electric. So, we have a project, the South Orange County Reliability Enhancement Project. What this project will do is help keep the lights on at a transmission and substation level. So, what we're going to do Right now, the power comes into our Telega substation through high voltage lines. At that point, what we have is the, the energy steps down and goes through the transmission lines to feed our seven substations in South Orange County. What our project will do is, is take one of the transmission lines that goes up to our Capistrano substation, it will replace it with a higher voltage lines and we're gonna build a new substation at that location. What this will do is give us a redundancy within our, our system to serve our customers. Today, if we lost the Telega substation, we lose power to all of South Orange County. Mm -hmm. By going forward with this project, we are now gonna be able to serve our customers not only from Telega substation, but from Capistrano substation. So that will help us keep the lights on. If Telega goes down, Capistrano keeps us going, if Capistrano goes down, Telega keeps us going. That sounds like a great backup plan, and I imagine there's a regulatory process that goes along with that. Is, is there something that you have to comply with? What are you doing there? There is. We do have to go through the California Public Utilities Commission. So back on May 18th, 2012, we filed an application with the Public Utilities Commission, and as you may guess, the, the state process is a little bit slow. Mm -hmm. And so we had our first scoping meetings in January of this, this last year, January 23rd and 24th, and now we're waiting for a draft EIR to come out. The Public Utilities Commission said that that should come out at the end of summer, but we think it may be fall or early winter before the, the process takes place. Mm -hmm. At that time, we'll have to wait for a decision, we'll have to wait for the final EIR to come out, and then a decision by the PUC as to whether or not we can build our our project and if we get the okay we hope to begin construction around January of 2014. January of 2014 and how long will it take to get it done uh, if that were to eventuate? It, it is going to be a long project it's going to take four to five years to fully construct that's because we have to take down the substation in in Capistrano at San Juan Capistrano but before we do that, we have to build a new substation on the property. It's almost like, like rebuilding an engine of an airplane while you're still flying. So we need to keep power flowing to all of our customers. Then, then we're going to build our new substation, tie it over to the new substation, tear down the old one, and then 
build our 230 kilovolt substation in the same location. Okay, great. Well, you mentioned earlier Rancho Mission Viejo, which is going to have about 14,000 new homes in it. How is sdg &E preparing for that need? One thing that we're very good at at the utility is planning ahead. We have five-year plans and 10-year plans. So when we knew that Rancho Mission Viejo was going to come online, we started working with the, with the Mission Viejo company, Rancho Mission Viejo company, on, on their project. We built a substation in phase two of their project, and it went into operation over a year ago. So right now it's up and running, and it can serve all 14,000 homes and 5.2 million square feet of business. Excellent. Okay, well, we just have a minute left. Can you tell our viewers how they can help conserve energy? It's such a commodity these days, and I know there's not uh, an unlimited resource for that. So how can they help? Yeah. And this year it's going to be extremely important, again, with, with songs down. We want to make sure that if we have extremely hot days that people do conserve. So things that you can do is, one, change your light bulbs. Get the, the, get the, the energy efficient light bulbs. Turn off lights that you aren't using. Set your air conditioner to 78 degrees. And, and make sure, again, that as you're walking around the house, the lights are off and any appliances that aren't being used, turn them off or unplug them. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Well, I want to thank you for your time today. Uh, you are involved in the Association of California Cities and working with all your local governments and making sure they know what you're doing. And we want to thank you for spending time with us today. Thanks for watching Cox OC Connection and stay tuned for our second segment.